What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So recently I've had a few questions about my certification, um, people seeking advice on what they should do for theirs. So I thought I would just make a video um, explaining all my credentials and hopefully you guys can learn from this. So uh, back in 2012, I graduated from the University of New Brunswick uh, with a science degree in kinesiology. So I started out in just straight sciences and then in my second year, I got into more kinesiology type classes and that's the degree I finished with. Um, and that's kind of what has like catapulted my whole um, career in fitness. So um, then when I moved to Vancouver, I started my um, blog and people started asking me to train them but I didn't really have a certification so I thought like this is my calling so and that's why I decided to take my fitness trainer certification did a lot of research and the one that I decided to go with was the International Sports Science Association uh, better known as the ISSA One of the main reasons I chose this certification because at the time when I was taking it, I really had the travel bug and I wanted to travel places and being from the East Coast, um, living on the West Coast, I wanted to make sure my certification was recognizable everywhere. So a little fact is that the ISSA has been recognized for 28 years in 91 countries. A couple other points that really drew me to this certification were the endless support um, that they provide for you um, before, during, and now after uh, having the certification. Um, they also provide so many resources online that help you um, get started making business cards, uh, help you build a website, um, help you find a job. Um, so those things all really appealed to me as well. So I personally took the personal trainer certification. I'm just gonna share some of their other major certifications that they offer. So they have fitness nutrition, group fitness, exercise theory, senior fitness, youth fitness, strength and conditioning, sports nutrition, elite trainer, and master trainer. So I could go on and take any of these other certifications and add them to the one that I've currently taken. The only prerequisite that you need for the ISSA is a high school diploma. That being said, um, it's not an easy course, so I really felt that my university degree and my knowledge in anatomy, physiology, um, really helped me um, with the course. So that being said, um, it's not like a walk in the park, it's not like some courses, personal training courses where you can go in and just attend like a weekend event or seminar and just come out with your certification. It's much more in depth. So even though you just need a high school diploma to get it, um, I think that my background and even just my passion for health and fitness and um, how I just love to read articles and knowledge myself on the topic, um, it helped me a lot. All right, so when you order this program, it is, I think I got mine on sale for around $500. Um, that is American prices. Um, and you get this massive, um, what's it called? The fitness, the complete guide. So it's a huge, it's a huge book. It's about 700 pages. This is basically your textbook. And then you also get this work, you also get this workbook and study guide. Amongst other things, you get some more resources, but this is basically just like your workbook where you can practice and like answer questions, um, diagrams and stuff like that. So, what do you need to do to pass this course? Well, you have, it is, you work at your own pace. Um, that being said, you have eight months to complete it. So you can do this completely at home online. So to start, you have to take the quizzes. Um, 33 quizzes and you have to do them in order so as you go through each unit has a quiz um, and then you can fill it out on these but as you can see none of mine are filled in I did mine all online it's just quicker cheaper um, and easier so you can just fill them out online and then it will unlock the next exam and then you proceed from there you have to do all of the quizzes to unlock the final exam you can't just bypass the quizzes and go straight to the exam the main areas that this guide covers are 
sorry, I made notes here so I would remember. Um, so you have anatomy and physiology, kinesiology and biomechanics, health and physical fitness, nutrition, and disease and injury. Now I'm gonna give you a little insight on the final exam. So it is open book and you can do it at home. That being said, it's not a walk in the park. I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown of what you need to do. So there are 200 true and false and multiple choice questions. You then have um, 120 points allocated for like diagrams, um, drawing things, labeling things, stuff like that. The next part is really long. There's six uh, long essays. So like you may think open book is easy, but these essays really require you to think and it's not really like a one word answer. You really you really have to kind of take what you learned and make a big picture out of it. Um, some of them even require you to like going into a gym and like shadowing some like really practical stuff and then taking notes on it. Some require you to take classes. Um, so it's really in depth. It's not something that you can just like complete in a day. You really have to think about it. And then the final part is 160 points and it's two different case studies. So you're actually given a fake person um, with all their stats and their goals and you have to create a full program for them. Um, so that one was really cool. I remember one of mine was like a golf player and he wanted to um, increase or he wanted to improve his game so it was really cool I had to like think of like exercises that would help him and then you have to do their nutrition and it was really cool um, and you have one attempt to take the exam um, after that you do have to pay a fee to retake it uh, after you submit the final exam <laughs> I remember I was so nervous like pushing the send button because you do have um, time to go in and out and kind of like fix things and like it seems like you could go over it forever but finally once I sent it I think it took maybe one or two days and I got my results and I got 93.7 percent um, and then once you finish they send you another package in the mail you get like your diploma and then you also get like a little business card with like your certification number and everything. And then you also get um, more materials on kind of like, they. I remember they sent this really good book and it was exactly how to like start your business step by step, taught you how to get um, your liability insurance, how to set up a bank account, everything. It was so great. Like it was for someone going in blind, I remember it was, such a hassle like registering your business name and all these things I had no idea about I remember I was so stressed trying to figure it out but that book that they sent I actually think I lent it to my friend who became a personal trainer after me um, it was so helpful um, so I loved that part of it and then they also send you um, like brochures um, for your continuing credits so I'll get into that as well. Before you um, obtain your certification, you do also have to submit your CPR uh, slash AED certification. So I remember I just looked one up locally, went and took it, it was like a day course. Um, and I think that lasts for about two years. And then I'll have to, when I recertify with the ISSA, I'll have to um, recertify my CPR as well. So getting into the continuing educational credits, um, you are required to do 20 over two years. So um, these could be, so like I said, they send you out these brochures. They also, I've signed up for like um, emails. So anytime there's like a new course or they have a sale on a course or just something that they think you'd be interested in, you just take it and then beside them all they'll say, uh, how many um, continuing educational credits uh, the ISSA recognizes. So if you don't really want to take a course, say you want to attend a seminar or a workshop or something like that, um, those also will give you continuing credits. Those usually work um, each hour the workshop is, usually counts as one credit, I believe. So. There's lots of different ways and um, they're great. I remember I've emailed back and forth them probably four or five times just saying, hey, can you check out this uh, workshop or can you check out this course? Will this count? And they're amazing. They literally get back with you in less than 24 hours. I hope this helped you if you are interested in um, 
taking a course with the ISSA. Like, like I said, I took the certified fitness trainer. Um, so if you have any questions about anything, any advice you need, please comment below. Uh, anything that was unclear, uh, please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Um, subscribe to my channel to never miss a video. Um, my new bikini series will be coming up in the next two or three weeks, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited, um, and I'll see you in the next one.